Good afternoon friends and welcome back to the homestead. So it is now fall and it has been fall for a few weeks now, but it actually feels like fall. This week we got our first frost and we also got our first hard freeze and it took a toll on the garden. So let's head to the garden, check out what has happened over there and then we'll just walk through the property and see what fall looks like here on the homestead. We gotta remove all the flags. Yeah. So when the weed eater had to stop some areas because of the flags. So. Okay. And these sticks, huh? The sticks too, yeah. And all this. Did you find anything? No. No? Just this. this is that good for the pigs? Yeah. Okay. How about some of this? Can I give one of those to the pigs? The Brussels sprouts? Yeah. No. I'm gonna uh, do those right now. Oh. I don't like them. You don't like Brussels sprouts? No. I tried every, everybody's tried to cook them for me and no. <laughs> no Brussels sprouts. Huh? Well, unless you know how to cook them. Oh, you can't see it. He waved. Oh. All right, friends. So we are down in the garden and as you can see, the tomatoes have completely died. There are still some fruits on there, but all the leaves are dead. And that's what happens when you get the hard freeze. Luckily, we took out the pumpkins in time as well as all of my peppers. I didn't record that, but I'll show you my harvest of that. It's insane. But you can see all my peppers have died. The leaves are drooping. I went through and I took every pepper off there, even the small ones. It's really sad when you see all the hard work that you put in for the last four months completely die after one freeze. like dead nothing is coming back so what i do have are my brussels sprouts these are still fine these are frost hardy so i'm going to actually be picking those in the next week and processing those up which is really good my okra they have all died i am keeping these pods and i'm waiting for them to dry out and i will be saving the seeds from all of them not all of them but for most of these i'll be saving seeds that's why they're still there. Now the biggest and saddest thing of all, my zinnias. Those were beautiful until we got that first frost. Dead. Every single one of them. Dead. But on a brighter note, I will be saving a lot of seeds. I went ahead and kept a couple of the sunflowers and so I have lots of sunflower seeds and now I will be collecting some zinnia seeds and that way I have plenty to plant next year. Over here, ooh, let's do it this way. All right, over here I have where our pumpkins were. We went ahead and took everything out. My father-in-law came through here and weeded with the weed eater a bunch of stuff and he found one watermelon, a small one, but we didn't get any watermelons. We didn't get any cantaloupes. We didn't get any honeydew melons. We didn't get none of that. And he found one here in all the weeds. So he brought that inside and I haven't cut it up one yet. Maybe I'll do that a little bit later, but yep, it's done. The garden is completely done. Sad, 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 sad. But this will give me time to get it going and getting it ready for next year. All right, friends, so we're heading down to our second small garden and this is where I have all of my asparagus and they are doing very well. Let me show you the asparagus. So the asparagus I will be overwintering. I need to trim them down and then go ahead and bed them so that way they stay nice and warm <laughs> during winter. So I will be putting some mulch over top of these and come spring, they will be able to shoot up through the mulch with no problem. But this way it will help also with combating the weeds. The weeds were really bad this year and this will look much better once it's all mulched. Hey, nope, see, get down here, get, come on, get over there. So my failure. And that is my strawberries. My strawberries were overtaken by the weeds. They had no chance. I did not properly mulch them to make sure that the weeds didn't grow up over them and take them over, but they completely overtook 
all of my strawberries. I do not know if they're gonna come back next year. I know where I planted them, but I see no sign of life anywhere in these strawberry beds. Oh, I take that back. I found one. All right, so there might be hope for them yet, some of them, but that means I'm gonna have to come in here and definitely do some deep bedding mulching for all my strawberries. And from what it looks like, it looks like everything that came up was all hay. My father-in-law trimmed it all down and it looks like hay right now. I might just bell that up and give it to the pigs. My once very green homestead is now very brown. <laughs> but, I will say that I absolutely love fall. I love all the color changing of all the leaves. Yes, everything is starting to fall right now, but just last week, the colors were amazing. The reds, the oranges, the yellows, the browns, it was just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So let's head to the other side of the homestead where our orchard is and check on those trees. All right, friends, so real quick, this is the harvest from my garden. This is all my peppers. These are bell peppers sweet peppers, banana peppers, hot banana peppers, cayenne peppers, habaneros, and tons of jalapenos. So I will be doing a lot of preserving in the next week or so. So as we walk over to the orchard, I'm gonna show you some of these trees that are right in front of the house that are absolutely stunning. These bushes, I believe they call them burning, burning bushes because look at how they turn red. These were green, and now all of them are turning red. Little by little, they are turning red. These are beautiful, beautiful bushes. My weeping cherry tree is losing all of its leaves. I need to trim it. All right, so we'll just keep on heading down to the orchard. Well, this is definitely a pleasant surprise. I did not expect to see some raspberries there. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy some raspberries. All right, so we are currently heading down to the orchard and here are some more of these burning bushes. They have not all turned yet, but all those will turn bright red very shortly. All right, friends, so we're down at the garden now and all of the trees are starting to go dormant. Their leaves are falling off. These are my apricot trees. Both apricot trees, they did not do well with their leaves this year. I don't know what happened, but the, the leaves are only on the top. So I'm not sure what I need to do about that. Hopefully next year I need to definitely trim them and then hopefully next year they'll do a little bit better. Our next tree over here is our fig tree and the fig tree does not like frost or freezing temperatures. It immediately started dying back. All right, so here are my plum trees and they are still doing very well. It's not cold enough for them. The plums are doing good. My other plum. Over here are peach trees and they are doing very well. Once I got rid of those darn Japanese beetles, the trees started coming back to life. Nice and full, looking very healthy. So I'm hopeful that next year we will be getting some fruit off of a couple of these trees. Might not be a lot, this will be there Next year will be their third year. Got my apple trees. Pineapple pear tree. And then all of my comfrey. You can see the comfrey along each of the trees. I have planted comfrey and they're all doing really well. So the comfrey will also overwinter and then start producing again next year once spring comes back. So this weather this week has been just absolutely nuts. It's been cold 
freezing at night and then today it's 70 degrees like it's hot right now with a little bit of a breeze but it's supposed to drop down even further tonight i believe it's supposed to be in the 30s tonight cold 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 <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed this video, friends, of us just walking the property, what fall looks like right now on the homestead. I'm gonna drop some drone footage down in here for you guys so you can see the whole property and how beautiful it looks right now in fall. Hope all is well and have a blessed day. Always be the Always be the Always be the Always be the